guys ran into a little bit of an issue. I took the HB29 to just uh, my neighbor's pond here just to see how it sits in the water and immediately as soon as I set it in the water with the kit supplied floats the tail just dropped underwater. It wasn't even close. It just went bloop right underwater. So it was obvious to me that probably the modifications I made to my uh, cowl right or my top deck right here affected its center of gravity compared to what that piece of plastic was going to do. So the floats were designed to handle just that very light piece of plastic and with my, I only added a few ounces but enough to really make it top uh, tail heavy on the float. Now it was perfectly balanced at 80 mil or eight, yeah, 80 millimeters. It was balanced at 80 millimeters, like it suggested in the plans, but that didn't help it on the floats. The floats were not long enough for it to actually just set in the water. So I had a couple of options I could do. Um, I could move the plane forward on the floats or I could add foam extensions to the back of those floats, or I happen to have these floats from an E-Flight Timber, which, uh, is, as you know, is a, a foamy that uh, is pretty popular, but it, the timber is set to fly either on the water or on land, and I had these floats from a timber that's my land timber that I was flying. So I put these floats, the timber floats, on it just to see how it works, and it works pretty darn good. So I am going to go ahead and make uh, the extension, foam extensions for the kit floats just as a proof of concept that I believe that those floats will work fine if they're a little bit longer, if you're going to make any kind of modifications like I did. Uh, but I believe that the floats are just a little bit too short and not enough buoyancy in the back for the aircraft. So we'll, uh, I just uh, put on these timber floats and now I'm going to set it in the pond water right here and I'll give you a chance to see what it looks like sitting in the water. Uh, it's just a little pond so it's not, all I can do is taxi, I can't take off or anything like that. And I'll show you what it looks like in the water with just the timber floats. Okay guys, I apologize. I don't have anybody to run my uh, camera here. I'm kind of running solo here today um, at my neighbor's farm pond and I thought I could just kind of give you a sense of what it looks like taxiing. I can't get up to any kind of speed to get takeoff because of the we're, a, we're in a pond surrounded by trees and it's a pretty small pond just to check the taxiing and everything. But it looks like it taxis pretty good. Hopefully you get a chance to see it. We'll kind of put it around here and even Go straight down the straightaway a little bit here. don't have a lot of turnaround room and there are water rudders on these floats but they're fixed. I don't have them tied to the actual aircraft rudder so 
so they're just a fixed straight line. So hopefully that would keep us in a you know a true track when we're going straight down. But it doesn't offer anything for turning. <laughs> So once we get enough room to take off, I think we'll get her in the air. Happy, happy! Woo! Yay! Okay. So on the second flight, during, during that first flight, I had to uh, give it a fair amount of down elevator on the trim. And uh, I think I had to go a little bit of uh, right aileron to get her to trim out. But other than that, it was uh, pretty close. Uh, flight characteristics are... Uh, it's, it, it'll stall, so you got to keep it under power. Although the wing loading is pretty light, I think uh, you still got to fly it in. You, know, you can't just float it in. So we'll go for our second flight now that we got it relatively trimmed in, and we'll see where we go. So here we go.
for landing. All right, builders, it's an official wrap on building the Hansa Brandenburg W29 from Dancing Wings Hobbies. Um, all in all, it was a great, fun build for me. I really enjoyed making some of the modifications. Um, it was just a neat build, and I love the uniqueness of the airplane. It looks awesome flying. Um, it just really was a great, uh, a great process and a great uh, project to work on. I want to point out that in the before the second flight, it made a comment that uh, about stalling, but I think I didn't have it trimmed in well enough quite yet uh, heading into the second flight. And its flight characteristics are docile. I mean, it is uh, trainer level easy to fly. Um, the wing loading is really light on it, and it, it handles beautifully in the air. The stall, it's very stable if you get into a stall. Uh, it easily comes out of it without any issues at all. So, great flyer, great project, great plane from Dancing Wing Hobbies. And I'd encourage you guys to go ahead and follow the links that I have down in the comments for where you can buy it if you're a USA citizen, or if you're not a USA, you can buy it directly from Dancing Wings. The power that I'm recommending for it are the uh, 4S 2600s from uh, a Power, which is uh, rcbatteriesusa.com. Fantastic guys to work with, and I would get eight, eight and a half minute flights out of a, one of those 4S 2600s without, and with plenty of room to spare. So, great plane, great project. I highly recommend it.